everyone and welcome to a new video working from home style now i am on day two of my new job and things are not going well today we've had a power cut in the house this morning so when i was midway through my training call because i'm supposed to be on video call pretty much all day today the wi-fi suddenly went off luckily my laptop has battery in it so i've managed to continue this morning using my laptop battery and then hotspotting myself from my mobile data. That's expensive stuff, let me tell you. But the power of my laptop is very quickly running out. This is not gonna last forever. So this afternoon I am relocating. So yeah, I can't quite believe really that this has happened. It's not that ideal, but what can you do? At least I've still managed to stay on the session. I missed like 10 minutes maybe while I was sorting out my hotspot initially and realising that we had indeed had a power cut. Some sort of works have happened down the road. They've knocked some important network cable and look what happens. Luckily, we have a very kind family friend who has said I can go around her house and set up my workstation there. So that is what I'm doing. She has power. She has Wi-Fi. I can work from there. So yeah, this little working from home setup hasn't lasted long. It's day two and, and we're moving. We're, we're out of here. I'm doing Excel training today. And it's exciting stuff. But no, to be fair, the job's going okay. The training's going fine. It's just the tech that is failing me today. I am going to pack all this into a rucksack. I am learning the struggle of working from home and not in an office. Oh, the other thing I did today was meet my new team like the wider team that i'm going to be working in i met some of them at least i didn't meet all of them and obviously i virtually met them rather than met them in person because we're all working from home but they were welcoming friendly i'm going to fill up my water before i go but i think that's everything i need oh and the other good news is that i've had an email through saying a keyboard wired mouse and monitor are all being sent which is going to make working from home a lot easier because at the moment i'm just on the laptop and the nature of the work I'm doing kind of requires more than one screen but yeah that, that's the update a bit of a chaotic start to today's video uh the plan is I'm just going to keep updating you um in my first week or so first few days of my new job I have had a good afternoon actually got power got wi-fi and completed the excel training i'm not gonna lie it is definitely more tough to stay engaged when you're working from home and just listening to people talk over video calls but today was quite good because we had group exercises and it was interactive and like we split off into small groups to discuss and work together so that was quite fun two days of the new job complete all been fine just a minor issue with the power hello boss have you had a good day <laughs> you're not licking me and apparently the power has come back on in this house now so that's good news so hopefully the power will remain on tomorrow for another day's work <laughs> do you want a belly rub do you want a belly rub hello everyone so it is day three of my new job and i'm on my coffee break i'm a bit tired it's four o'clock so i've only got an hour left of the day um, it's been okay. I met my buddy today because there's a buddy system where we are buddied up with someone who started a year before us. I've just been trying to organise things like various pieces of software that I want downloaded on my computer and other kind of admin bits and bobs that need sorting before I get going with the job. But really, I'm, I'm itching to get some actual project work. I There's so many onboarding tasks. We were reminded this morning that we've got to work through all these onboarding tasks. And I don't mind it. I just, you know, I'm looking forward to getting going with my first project. Hello everyone, so it is the end of the day. I have just signed up for student membership of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries, which is the professional body which I'm going to be taking my actuarial exams with. So that's setting the ball rolling with actuarial exams and qualification stuff. I'm gonna go relax for the evening. I need to edit a video. <laughs> everyone 
so it is friday it's the last day of my working week let me get you guys up to speed so yesterday i asked for some more work to do because i got through all of my onboarding tasks and all i've really had to do is kind of admin and new hire orientation get to know the company and the line of business etc etc and i'm ready to get stuck into like some actual reserving work because i've been put in the reserving team i don't know if i've told you guys this but i'm on the reserving capital team reserving by the way is all about figuring out how much money insurance companies need to put aside in order to pay off claims on business they've written so i've been told my projects and i had a short intro to one of them this morning do you know what the problem is everything looks familiar from my internship last year but it's been a year a whole year and I have forgotten so much like it's all vaguely familiar but I can't remember how some of the methods work and I know it's fine because I've got training sessions to go to and I can take it slow and I can ask questions when I need to but it's just frustrating when I used to know some of the basic knowledge and now it's just completely gone. I had a meeting with my line manager yesterday and she was so friendly. She spent so much time with me as well, like an hour long meeting with her, answering all my questions. And I got told the, oh, whoops, there we go. And I've been told the initial projects I've been put on and kind of the hours involved in them, but now I'm getting oh really basically what i'm doing is i'm looking through my notes from my internship to try draw back that knowledge from the back of my head it must still be in there somewhere what else has happened today i had like an hour long call with someone who's working on a project team and kind of leading me in that project and also i had a graduates welcome lunch and we were all allowed to spend up to 20 pounds ordering ourselves our own lunch and then we can expense it on the company and then we had a video call with other grads and recent hires and line managers and student managers so that was pleasant i enjoyed my pizza hut pizza and then i've got a graduate networking session in about half an hour which I believe is just a short session with someone more senior at the company who's going to explain their role to us and what they do and we get the opportunity to ask many questions. It's just a way that we get to meet more people in the company since we're all working from home so we're not necessarily exposed to as many people as we would be in the office. And then straight after the networking session, I have scheduled a call for another project that I've been put on. Apparently that work isn't urgent though, and I've been sent a message saying someone else has urgent work. So already I am learning to navigate management of time and prioritizing different pieces of work. I'm excited though, it is, it's kicking off a bit now, you know, I'm getting some actual work to do. Yeah, back to work. Okay, peeps, it's the end of the week. I look like a mess, but I have made it through my first week of my new job. So I'm proud of myself. I've made a list of what I want to do on Monday, but now it's the weekend and I'm going to enjoy my weekend. I've actually got a cool scheduled, a video call with my friends from university this evening. So it'll be nice to catch up a bit with them. Thank you very much for watching this video. I think I'm going to end it here. I'm not sure how much I filmed this week. I know I've only kind of dropped in and out, but that's because I've been settling into the job and concentrating on my work. Like I haven't had a lot of spare time to update you guys. Like, subscribe, follow my Instagram. I've been posting updates on Instagram stories about how I've been getting on with the new job. And yeah, I think that's everything. See you next week with another video. Bye. Thank you.